Good afternoon, our Yusana family here in um, in our Zoom call this afternoon. Yeah, there's still a lot of people logging in. Uh, I see them in our waiting room. So I hope that you have uh, taken your lunch and uh, is on listening mode. Okay, and not just listening mode, but learning mode as well. Before anything else, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Joyce Ramalyosa. I'm the sales manager for USANA Philippines is based in our Makati office. Okay, and welcome to our doorway to director. Okay, so let me just um, share my slide. So how are you so far? How are you doing on this Friday afternoon? We know that... Um, Cut off is tomorrow afternoon, so I'm sure if you are running for a rank, if you are running for a commission this week, you are all busy, right? So please um, type sa ating chat box, busy, kung ikaw yon, di ba? So if ever hindi, if not, di ba? Mas maganda pa rin na busy ka, yeah? So there are a lot of uh, people saying busy sila, and I hope that um, you... Uh, you um, spare two hours of your time listening and, of course, um, imbibing all our uh, training this afternoon. Because every uh, rank advancement seminar, we make sure that uh, this is appropriate to your rank level or to the rank that you want to achieve. So, for this afternoon, we have invited all our sharers, believers, builders, and achievers. So, before we uh, start, let me just see uh, who among you here are new Sharer. So, ibig sabihin, you have advanced this year. Please type sharer in our chat box so that we know who you are. And there. So, congratulations. Please give yourselves a round of applause. And now, let's move on to our believers who believe that they will become directors in the future. Okay? So, please type believer in our chat box if you are that person. Ayan, so believer, and dami nating believers. There's a lot of you here in this call. And now let's move on to our builders. They are the build, build, build. Okay, so I'm very excited because um, every time that we have this uh, uh, rank advancement seminar, we, um, we also see a lot of people advance in their rank. Okay, so that we know uh, and, and we have measured that um, this training is effective really no, for our associates. And of course, who can uh, forget our achievers? Not to forget our achievers, please type achiever in the chat box if you are an achiever. Alright, and I, I see some uplines here in the call as well. So they're very supportive. Actually, that's the dynamics. No, if, if you have someone to coach, to mentor, you also have to be here. And you have to also uh, to, to make sure that uh, they apply what uh, they have been learning. Okay, so to start things off, to jumpstart our training this afternoon, um, let, just, let us just have some icebreaker. I know it's an afternoon. Uh, uh, it's so nice to sleep, diba? Or you just came from lunch. So it's really very um, uh, hard for us to focus. But really, here at Yosana, we would want you to, uh, en to be energized. Uh, okay? And to do that, please welcome our corporate pharmacist from our Cebu office, Jace Nasete. Jace? Hi, Ma'am Joyce. Good afternoon. So today we'll be uh, playing a very short game. Uh, let me just share my screen so that we can start with our short game as our icebreaker to start the afternoon with. So the game is very simple. It's called Word Scramble. So the instructions, uh, it's, it's quite simple to follow. Uh, we simply have to unscramble the letters to form terms or phrases that are associated with Yusana. And if you have done that, you can type in your answers in the chat box. So example, Jan, is uh, below, is you have your M-U-E-O-M-N-M-T. So if you're going to unscramble, if you're going to unscramble the letters, 
you'll come up with a term that is very familiar to us here in USANA, and that is momentum. So let's start with the first word, and that is this one. So we unscramble the letters, and we try to find out what is this one. So this is our optimizers. Yes, that's very, very fast for the associates. Now the next one is th we have three words here. We have three words and that is actually, ah, yes, that is Dr. Myron Wentz. So that is, these are the words, Dr. Myron Wentz. Next is we have this one. This one, I know this one is very familiar to our associates. And yes, that is our cell essentials. Very fast in typing indeed. And this one, this one is quite long. This comprises four words. So you have there, healthiest family on earth. Yes, that is correct. So these terms are actually very familiar because they are all associated with USANA. And of course, the next one is we have this one. Three words and that is actually, yes, our upward momentum bonus. Yes, that is correct. So it's upward momentum bonus. So this is actually very, very fun because I'm seeing a lot of answers. And um, I am not yet uh, done speaking. And yet the answers are already found in our chat box. That's how fast they are, no, Jace? Yes, indeed. I think it is, it's actually an effect of our Copa Prime Plus promotions. And of course, we have this one. This one is one word, but it's quite long. And yes, this is actually, yes, supplementation. Yes, they are so fast. So fast in unscrambling the letters and typing them as well. And of course, one of the most uh, common rank, but very quite difficult to achieve here in USANA. Yes, that is our executive gold director. So that is our... Uh, and then this one, one word, very common in USANA. Yes, that is our promotions. Yes, that is correct. And we have this one. We have our three words. We have, yes, this is our Business Growth Program. Yes, that is correct. And of course, this one is we have our, yes, our gateway to gold. So these are, this is, uh, this is, this actually ends our icebreaker. So I'll be giving you back to Mom Joyce. Mom Joyce. Thank you so much, Jason. It just proved, no, Jace, that they are really very attentive this afternoon which we want no because of course we, we this is a full pack with um with trainings and with sharing okay so uh, of course to better uh, welcome everyone uh, i would like to call this uh person who have really supported our business sa, uh, not just in the philippines but also uh, for the whole usana please welcome our uh, general manager miss cherry ampi Ayan, uh, good afternoon everyone. Ako gusto pa nila mag games bitin daw. <laughs> they still want more of the of the ano to, um the games that uh, JC had just um uh, given everyone. But anyway, good afternoon everybody. My name is Cherry Ampig and I am the general manager for Yusana Philippines. Uh, let me just really introduce uh, myself very uh briefly. I am um well, I have a total of 28 years of work experience. Uh, almost 20 years of that uh, is from the direct selling and the multi-level marketing company. And uh, eight years of that is from the academy. So I used to be a professor. And um, literature po yung aking tinutura. I used to teach language and literature. And... Um, been with Yusana for almost 12 years, so since day one, since the, the time that we have started, or even before actually we have started uh, the operations here in the Philippines, uh, seven, of he seven years as sales and marketing director, and then I moved here in the U.S. 
um, to, to become the director for global recognition and incentives. And I moved back again in the Philippines last year uh, to become the general manager. So uh, it's actually my second year of uh, being the general manager for USANA Philippines. And the two past two years of uh, being the GM has um, has been really, really amazing and, and, and great experience for me. Um, the past year, in 2019, Yusada Philippines has set a record break. Uh, that was the highest uh, record ever that we have registered since day one that we have started with Yusana. And this year, which is my uh, second year, or full year as a gym, we are going to end the year with a growth of 50% versus last year and um how does that translate to a uh, figure so uh 50 percent growth versus last year is a uh, 5 billion peso sales in a given year so officially yasana philippines is already a 5 billion company coming from when, when we started in 2009 uh, we we were just about 350 million for that given year. So imagine from 2009 now to 2012, our yearly sales has grown to become 5 billion. One year lang po yun. That's just one uh, year or 100 million dollars in sales for uh, in a total of one year. Now, uh, why is that very important and why am I saying that? I'm only saying that it's because every time that I talk about figures, I, I think about the number of products that uh, that is out there that is out there to um to, to be able to help a lot of people in in a lot of ways because our product helps in what health uh, health wise and then um opportunity wise in terms of uh, of income and that is always one thing that I have in my mind is why are we doing all these things? Okay? Because we are wanting to be, you know, stay true to the vision of Dr. Myron Wenz, which is to have the healthiest uh, family on earth. And every time that um and every time that we go back to that vision, we only always think of the house. How are we going to achieve that vision. And one of that is being able to conduct trainings like this, to empower a lot of our emerging leaders. The way that I call the sharers, the builders, the directors and achievers, you are all our emerging leaders because you are going to be the next batch of leaders that will carry on the vision of Yasana Philippines in the next 10 years. Agree ba kayo doon? If you agree with what I just said, can you type agree on the chat box? Ayun, talagang marami kaming magiging partner dito for uh, to carry on the vision of Yasana Philippines in the next 10 years because we are not going to rest on our laurels of just being a 5 billion company. Our vision for Yasana Philippines, my entire team in Yasana, our vision is to really uh, grow this company and empower a lot of leaders, our emerging leaders like you, to be our partners in that vision. If you're going to, if you have heard about Jim Ron, he he said, uh, when the why is clear, the how become easy. Okay, let me just repeat that. When the why, when the why is clear, the how become easy. The how becomes easy. So for us, all the house are the house of us. <laughs> the house of us are are just have are, are all easy in a way because we are very clear on where we would want to go. And I'm sure in your business, as you are starting um, with Jisana, I hope that your why is also very very clear on why in the first place uh, you wanted to be a part of this healthiest family on earth. The number two that I have, so that's the first thing, that, that's the first message that I have. I have four actually. The first one is definitely know your why because knowing your why will keep you in an empowered mindset. Okay. Every time uh, that you encounter challenges, like you said, the Philippines in the corporate office, we've got a lot of challenges as well. But every time that we do um, in, uh, encounter challenges or we are, we are always in, on a crossroad, we just always go back to our why and then everything becomes clear on how we are going to tackle all those issues. I hope that you are also in that situation when your why is really very clear. 
Number two is that work on yourself. Attend all the webinars and virtual training like what you are doing right now. I am very happy with the turnout with over 600 people who are willing to learn this afternoon. And in, an, in normal situations, when we do it at this at the enterprise, we had about like, what, 200 people to fill up the room. But look at us now. This is a great platform for us to be together. Imagine over 600 people. You don't even have to leave your homes. And um, learning just comes a lot easier. So make sure that you are working on yourself, attending all the webinars, virtual tra training, and talking to your upline and, and your leaders, of course. Number three that is important in uh, building your Yasana business as you start building your Yasana business is that you have to be able to learn to start writing your own story. And the main story, okay, why do we need to do that? Because there's always a power in storytelling just like what Kendra Hall just said. So what if you don't have any success story yet? It's fine. There could be a product story, an opportunity story, or think of the story of the person who invited you here and borrow that story. Or even the stories of your uh, upline or your diamond directors, you can borrow those stories and you are a, and you have to be able to tell that story. And then when success comes your way, I'm very sure that it will be your own story that you want to be told. So um, whatever that is, if you don't have any story yet, make sure that you are starting writing it right now so that you have something to tell and leverage on the power of that storytelling. And number four, according to Oprah, surround yourself with people who can take you higher. So don't forget those four things. Know your why, work on yourself, start writing your own story, and surround yourself with people who can take you higher. And here at the corporate office, that's why... We would want to be able to gather everyone to this doorway to director because we wanted you to know uh, that you have a team in us. Okay, so we are here: your GM, your um, sales uh, managers, your sales directors, customer service and marketing. We are all here uh, uh, for you, and we are going to make sure uh, that Yusana is here um, to stay and will always be able to support you. Maraming salamat po, and uh, I will just be here uh, staying with you throughout this afternoon of learning. Back to you, Joyce. Thank you so much, Miss Cherry. So there you have it, our general manager. And please give your virtual applause to her. Right. So at this point, uh, as, as what uh, Miss Cherry told us earlier, no, you are the emerging leader. So let me just see who among you here have uh, been less than a month in Yusana. So please type new in our chat box. Okay, so there are a lot. So Jason, hello, Joanne. Teresa, hi, um, Justine. Okay, so um, let me just see also who among you here have been with Yusana for less than six months. Type uh, six naman, six. Okay, <laughs> all right. And who among you here have been with Yusana for um, um, one year? Okay, for uh, about one year. So please type one in our chat box. Okay. There you have it. So the reason why I'm asking uh, the number of uh, months or the duration of your um, journey with Yusana is that, of course, uh, we would want you to start early and we would want you to start uh, right. So uh, we have our um, ethics and education team uh, this afternoon headed by our assistant sales manager, Tintin Cabreros, to give you the basic policies and procedures. Hello, Sistine. Thank you so much, Miss Joyce. Uh, by the way, I am the assistant ethics manager. So just to clarify po that I am from the ethics. Sorry pala, as sales ba nasabi ko? <laughs> okay. Yes, assistant ethics manager. Take it away, sis. And sis, can you see my, ano na, my screen? Uh, we're seeing the, the PowerPoint, not the show. Okay, hold on. I'll... I'll repeat it. There. Ah, uh, you can. Ah, uh, yeah, done. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. 
So thank you again, Miss Joyce, and good afternoon, everyone, and congratulations. And as what our GM says, you are the emerging leaders of Yosana. So congratulations and thank you for uh, attending this important training. And this afternoon, I am very privileged to discuss with you promoting your Yosana business in social media because we all know we are doing our business online. So we are here, your ethics team, we will be here to guide you on how you would be able to promote your USANA business online the proper way because legal and regulatory risk exists throughout the world to regulate the way direct selling companies uh, advertise the efficacy of their products and the income opportunity as well. Of course, in the Philippines, we have the Philippine uh, Food and Drug Administration we are also monitored by the U.S. Federal Trade Commission because we are a branch of the USANA Health Sciences in the U.S. So we really have to be careful when we are promoting our USANA business in social media. <clears throat> I know you are all familiar with product claims. And unfortunately, we are still getting a lot of cases or a high number of cases on online claims, specifically in uh, product claims, especially our new associates, and as their uh, sponsors, their mentors, their uplines, it is also your responsibility to educate them on how they could properly promote our products, and not just uh, during face-to-face -face meetings, especially in social media. So as you can see, product claims is any statement expressed or implied about the nutritional content or health benefits of taking a nutritional supplement. So those that you see in our product guides in our websites, those are product claims. And USANA carefully studied those uh, marketing collaterals to be risk-free. So we are advising you to uh, maximize social media, continue to share the product benefits, and use those marketing collaterals because they are risk-free as I have mentioned okay so we should be avoiding uh, using these words when we are promoting our product so any link to any medical conditions or disease are strictly prohibited especially coronavirus so we should really avoid promoting our products that it can treat prevent or cure certain diseases or medical conditions and coronavirus okay so we should never advertise as our products as drug claims because our products are food supplements so anything that contains pictures associated with the coronavirus are implied claims including those hashtags fight covid19 fight covid covid and so on so those are considered an implied claims and those are very risky so please do not put yourself at risk and our company as well so please remind your downlines again if you are seeing their posts promoting our products linking them with any kinds of medical conditions or coronavirus please remind them that we are strictly prohibited in promoting our products in association with coronavirus so what are the allowable product claims? So these are the allowable product claims when we are promoting our products, spe specifically our immunity products. So we should refrain from uh, promoting or claiming that any USANA product can boost, strengthen, improve, protect the immune function. Those are already considered implied claims by our regulators. And instead, we are to use helps maintain, helps promote, help support the immune function. And of course, it is advisable that we always have to put the product disclaimer. So when we are putting the disclaimer, we are sending signal to our regulators that we are serious and we are serious in doing our adver advertisement. We are not claiming that our products can cure any uh, disease or any conditions and that we do not want to mislead our customers. So these are good examples of approved product claims. So helps maintain cardiovascular function, helps support healthy muscle function and strength, helps maintain strong 
healthy bones, teeth, and nails. Of course, we are strictly prohibited in promoting that our products can prevent cancer, treats heart disease, lowers chance of diabetes, even those anti-aging, anti-histamine, and anti-inflammatory. So if you are seeing those in uh, other uh, Facebook pages of other associates, please do not share and copy them you can report it to us and we will immediately call the attentions of those associates so they can remove this, their their posts because those are not compliant so another so now we talk about the business so i know it's not just that our products are best in the world of course it is our compensation as well but uh, we understand that a lot of our associates are still having a hard time on how they could properly promote the income opportunity, especially during this time that we are online. So now you, you've been hearing about this. So what is a lifestyle or income claim? And as, as you can see, the lifestyle or income claim is any direct or implied claim, including pictures about the lifestyle or income that can be made by starting a USANA business. So every time that you are posting in your social media pages anything relating to the income or financial benefits you are getting from USANA are lifestyle or income claims. So now, how do you share it without getting any trouble? And then how are you going to share it effectively? So as I mentioned, our regulators are very active in monitoring our posts. And USANA, we have external resources. So we have these web crawlers that really monitors and checks the posts of our associates all over the world. So that's why we really have to be careful. So how do you share the business without getting any trouble? So there are two important key questions when we are going to post anything in social media so number one the first key is it truthful this relates to our core values integrity so when you are posting always check is it truthful is it really your lifestyle are you really earning that much diba? relationships are the foundation of social selling and honesty is key to building strong customers connection so we always have to be truthful when we are posting and when we are sharing the income benefits of our USANA business another important key question is is it misleading sometimes we are posting yes it is is it is it truthful but whenever it's very luxurious we are uh, promoting our expensive cars those are also misleading so it is always important that before we click and before we post, we have to check these two important key questions. Is my post truthful? Did I just uh, borrow uh, a picture from other social media pages and post it in my account to show that I am this already in USANA? So that is not truthful and misleading. So remember that before you make any lifestyle or income claim look at it closely to make sure it is true and accurate Ayan. so our regulators are always looking at the net impression of our post so if you're going to post uh, uh in usana you're go you're just having parties or you're just um getting luxurious vacation and posting about expensive cars so those posts are uh, very misleading com compared to when you are posting how you are maintaining your health how you are growing your business with your team and how you are growing yourself by attending trainings that could enhance your leadership skills your selling skills in USANA so those kind of net impression impression makes a big difference when we are posting in our social media pages and also if you are going to post uh, join USANA and earn a hundred dollars you are not attracting the right people because they can easily think that they will just join USANA do nothing about the business don't take it seriously so you are attracting the wrong people what we want you to do is to attract the right people that will join your USANA business your organization who will also do the same who will take the business seriously and of course share the same values that you have okay so 
always think about the net impression of your post before you click and post about any lifestyle or income that you are getting from your son. So we have summarized the key words. These are the words or phrases that are very risky. So these are always flagged by our regulators that are high risk and cannot be corrected by any disclaimer. So example is residual income. So in USANA, we do not say residual income that you will stop working and then you will continue to earn money. Of course, in USANA, you have to keep on being active you keep on uh, promoting the products promoting the business and of course training yourself and training your downlines as well so no selling required of course it's impossible because in USANA we have to sell the products we don't earn commission by just recruiting people remember that okay we have to sell our products in order for us to get points and earn commission so earn while you sleep work number of times and never work again so these are misleading posts and unlimited earnings and then guaranteed earnings because you know in USANA there are no guaranteed earnings so not every every associate will earn the same commission every week because as you know it always dependent on the hard work and the effort that you did to make your business successful and in order for you to earn commission week after week you have to be active you have to continue sharing the products and the income opportunity so we really cannot say that in when you join USANA your earnings are guaranteed showing up checks and earnings uh, this one we have been uh, seeing a lot of associates especially during their rank advancement and of course, we appreciate them because I know they are so proud because of the effort and the hard work that they did in order for them to run advance. But we are not allowing our associates to show their income because as I mentioned, not all associates are going to earn the same amount of commission or some people won't even earn. So when we are showing our income, that's already a misleading claim. So let us avoid showing our income, check stub, even the CDP. Okay, and of course, posting consecutive weeks of earnings, firing your boss, uh, financial freedom, hashtag financial freedom, and showing six figures, five figures, or even replace your income. Because we all know there are also associates that they're just doing this USANA business on the side and they're still working. So we cannot just ask them to retire or resign because you will your income will be replaced when you join USANA. So that is very is leading and of course posting of extreme luxury lifestyle like uh posting cars in front of your mansions or anywhere and then exotic travel locations so these are very misleading claims and these are very high risk so please uh protect your business do not put yourself at risk so let us avoid uh, these uh, income and lifestyle claims. So you can screenshot this or you can ask me for soft copy. So you can always be reminded of what not to post in your social media pages. So we are really setting a high standard, especially here in the Philippines. And USANA is creating a worldwide standards for a seamless uh, business. So continue to educate yourself build and protect your legacy business so you can always log on to the hub under the training you can always find there the policies and procedures and our ethics guidelines you can also undergo ethics courses in order for you to know what are the best practices that we can do in order for us to do our usana business right so i am sharing with you our contact details from the ethics team so myself you can also communicate with ruth and nika our ethics specialist so you can keep in touch with us you can always send us an email you can also send us a direct message add us in facebook if we are not yet friends so uh, please remember that the ethics and education team is just one of the many resources that can help you build your successful USANA business. So thank you again. And if you have any questions with regards to our policies and procedures, you can just always send us an email or communicate with us via Facebook. 
Thank you so much and good afternoon. Back to you, Ms. Joyce. Thank you so much, Sistine. All right, so there you have it, our ethics and education team. And isn't it nice, no, we have our ethics team in our own company, not just to protect the, the USANA uh, brand or the USANA company, but also your business. So I hope that you uh, treat them as partners in our business. Uh, in, in your businesses so um, please add them on Facebook and they also have uh, uh, weekly trainings so if you have a new distributor or a new uh, new person in your team that signs up please let them attend our uh, ethics and education training okay so thank you so much Sistine and uh, at this point uh, if we would want to share our products, of course, definitely, if you would want to go to higher ranks, you have to share the uh, opportunity and, of course, our uh, products. And to do that, to show you how it is done, please welcome our corporate pharmacist that's based in our Mindanao office. Please welcome Nina Dia Cordon. Take it away, Nina. Hello, Miss Joyce and everyone. We have 721 participants in this training and good afternoon po. No? So, I will be the one to discuss the products that we have here in Yazana. And I think that's one of the uh, important things that we need to learn here. Yung mga, um, how to discuss it to our clients, how to share it to the social media. Diba? So, especially right now that we are doing our online businesses. And it's, it's my joy to do, do this. And so welcome everyone to Yuzana, the cellular nutrition company. So this is our tagline. So don't forget about this tagline. No? So everything that we have here in Yuzana, uh, this came from this person, Dr. Myron Wentz. Okay, so he is a microbiologist, a PhD degree holder, major in immunology. And uh, as we know, he is not just a, a marketer or a businessman. He is a scientist and he has this dream of having a world free from pain and suffering from degenerative diseases. And that's why we owe this man all the things, the idea of cellular nutrition. And to know more about our um, things here in Yazana, all the things, the activities and our engagements, let us watch this short video. So there you have it. What you just watched from the video speaks what we do here in Yazana. And in everything that we do, whether personal decision or corporate decision making, we are always rooted on the four core values of excellence, integrity, health, and community. And of course, as a company, we have a vision to fulfill. And we want everyone to know about this. No? It's not just about what who we are, but the things that we really do that makes us unique and stand out from the rest of the companies. And that is to be the healthiest family on earth. So this means that in every individual's health, we value you as a person, your uh your holistic well-being, as well as the health of the whole family. Because here in Yazana, we have different quality nutritionals that can support the uh, health of uh, the adults the kids or even the teenagers in the family and in order for us to do that we have uh, summarized it into four actions to help so we just have to familiarize with these four things because um as we know uh, we have a lot of information available right now in the internet and we are so confused on which to follow which one to believe and first of that action to help is we need to eat right okay so this is the most basic thing that we need to do as, you know, we, we humans, we are living organisms. We need to eat in order to survive. But it's not enough that we just eat for the things that we see around. We need to choose what kind of food or even the right amount. Because anything that is excess or even minimum in terms of taking in those nutrients will be detrimental or will really 
um, have effect on our health. And speaking of eating right, the question is, are we getting a balanced diet every day? So I'm not just saying you're eating right once a week, once a month, or after a year. No, we do this every day. And so we need to be careful on what kind of food that we place on our table, especially when what our kids are eating. You know? So we have different food groups such as carbohydrates, proteins, fats, or even fiber. So we need to eat a balanced diet of those food groups. But unfortunately, even though we learn all of these things, we cannot really apply it. Okay? Because, of course, there are a lot of factors that hinder us from preparing those nutritious food. And it turned out that um, instead of eating the right amount of food, we are getting excess of those salty, too sweet, or uh, very fatty food. No? And ano mangyayari niyan? So we get also those excess. And as we know, nowadays, those uh, different diseases, especially cardiovascular diseases, are rooted to unhealthy eating habits. So starting today, I hope everyone will learn from this and we need to choose the kind of food that we eat. And second action to health is to have an active lifestyle. So this means that we don't just sit around or lie around, especially that we do our business or work or studies online. We need to have this physical activities. But the question is, are we having exercises? Or do we do that when our friends or our family members tell us to do so? Or it's not really our initiative? No? So we have to uh, engage ourselves to active lifestyle. Because um, the food that we eat, natin, no, na convert into calories. And not all those calories are needed by the body. They have to be burned. Because if you don't burn it, it will be stored in the body. And that's why we have excess, excess of weight. Okay? So we deal with obesity and all. And in order for, for us to do that, we can have physical activities at home. Or maybe if you can afford going to the gym. But as simple as having this um, Zumba at ha uh, home with our kids, with our family members, we can do that. And the third action to help is to minimize stress. So speaking of stress, this is inevitable. We cannot escape from this reality. But wherever we go, whether you are inside the house or you are in the workplace or doing the business here in Yuzana, we encounter a lot of factors that could trigger stress in our body. And yes, it's, though it's natural, but we should not linger. We should not dwell on these things because it will really affect us, not just physically, but as well as mentally and emotionally. So if you're having a hard time, if you're working so well during the day, then take time, you know? just take time, even one hour of your day to relieve and to manage how to relax and unwind yourself. Because too much stress can trigger the production of the free radicals, which of course are harmful for the health of our cells as well as for their function. And fourth action to help is supplementation. So supplementation is our support. You know? why, do we have su why do we have to support our body, our health? It's because even though we eat a balanced diet, you know, every day you eat lunch, breakfast, um, dinner, or even you can take a lot of snacks during the day, still you are missing out a lot of nutrients. And uh, we have what we call a recommended dietary allowance. You know? So in order for us to have those micronutrients you know, that we cannot take from our food, we need to take supplementation. But there is a challenge in choosing what kind of supplementation that you're going to take. You know? And also, you want to provide for your family. Is it quality? The formulations are balanced ba? or science-based? No, so that's a challenge for us to face. And aside from that, when we process our food, no, yung mga raw foods natin, when we cook them, some of the nutrients that are present in those raw foods can be destroyed when exposed to extreme heat, such as the vitamin C. And we don't produce um, vitamin C inside our body. We have to take it from other sources. And that's why we need to take that enough supply of vitamin C. And another, some of the nutrients that our body needs, such as glucosamine, which is good for our joint health, can be majorly found in our seafoods and shellfish. But not all people can take those kind of food. 
but of course they have these allergic reactions now when they take in those kind of food and so where do we get where do we get that glucosamine no so that's why it's important to have support for our health and it will be convenient in a form of nutritionals and here in Yazano we have different quality nutritionals that can support your health for your total body health or for specific body organs and to start with those products we have our flagship product our cell essentials and it has to be paired okay so the one with green logo is our vita antioxidant and the one in blue logo is our core cell essentials and this contains 13 multivitamins 11 essential minerals and 11 antioxidants and other ingredients and they note this cell essentials is powered with intelligence technology to support the cellular communication pathways of our cells and for the next set of products that i'm going to discuss to you are all about optimizers and these optimizers are targeted nutrition so if a certain body organ has a specific need and you want to prioritize it then you can take this product and to start with we have for the cardiovascular health and of course cardiovascular health we have our muscular organ works 24 7 a day our heart very precious to us diba? because this one pumps the blood throughout the body and if if we want to support it we can provide extra energy for this organ and we have coquino 30 that contains coenzyme q10 plus alpha lipoic acid and for our blood vessels the different um bodies highways no you are at in capillaries arteries and even mga veins in the body. So we have here to support that proflavano C100 that contains grapeseed extract plus vitamin C. And for our overall cellular function, we have three products to remember and to take note. So first we have Biomega. So this is Yuzana's fish oil that contains omega-3 which are your healthy fatty acids and plus vitamin D3. So this one is also good for pregnant women now to support the uh, brain development, the nervous system of their babies inside their wombs. And another product, if you want to prioritize or support your immune system, we have proglucamine. And proglucamine contains baker's yeast extract, reishi and shiitake mushroom, plus zinc. Especially nowadays, we want to prioritize our immune system because it's difficult for us to get sick, okay? And all those pathogens, the bacteria, the viruses are just around us and we cannot see them, no? So we have to uh, step up in, in helping our immune system to defend us every day. And so we also have Poly C. This is Yusana's proprietary blend of vitamin C. And this is not just your ordinary vitamin C because its formulation is in mineral ascorbates of magnesium, calcium, and potassium. Plus, it has additional ingredients of citrus bioflavonoids, protein plus quercetin dihydrate. So if you are looking for that um, kind of ascorbic acid that is highly bioavailable and good quality, then policy is right for you. And for our digestive health, no, this is the body's um, system who's responsible in the digestion of our food as well as for the absorption. And if you want to focus in supporting your liver, your body's major organ of metabolism, and uh, here we have Hepacil DTX. Hepacil DTX contains silymarine plus other herbal extracts. And this one is powered also with intelligence technology to support the cell signaling complex in our liver. And for our gut health, which is responsible for our proper digestion and absorption of the nutrients, we have here the USANA probiotics. Because of course, when we talk about bacteria, it's not just about bad bacteria but we also have good bacteria inside our gut and in order for us to have this normal functioning we need to increase the number or yes the number of our good bacteria so we can take the Susana probiotics that contains two good bacteria of l rhamnosus lgg and bifidobacterium bb12 Moving on to our bone and joint health. So speaking of the bone, so this is our body's greatest supporter. No, it comprises of our ligaments, of our uh, bones, and even mga tendons. 
And um, our bone has a lot of functions in the body. And one of those, uh, aside from movement, from uh, even for our uh, structure, our posture, is responsible in the protection of some of the vital organs in the body. And so it is important to support or to supply its needed minerals, such as the calcium, magnesium, and vitamin D. So we have here magnical D which has a balanced ratio of 1 is to 1 magnesium and calcium. For our joint health, no? so for our joints that connects all those bones in the body so that we can have this uh, smooth movement and without any difficulty, we have to support our joints. And we have here proposa that contains glucosamine. And for our eye health, no? our very precious eyes that are really somehow abuse nowadays because of what we do here, the platform that we use, especially when it is exposed to radiation, UV light, and even blue light. And it will really um, cause our eyes to be exposed to photooxidation. And we want to support it no? because we want to use it in the long run. So we have here Vision X that contains lutein, bilberry extract, zeaxanthin, plus vitamin C. And of course, our um, master organ of the body, our brain, we want to support especially the function because we want to function well. Of course, not all of our body parts are being controlled by our brain. And for us to be productive and to accomplish a lot of things in life, we have to take care and prioritize our brain's health. So we have here our newest Copa Prime plus that contains American ginseng, bacopa monieri, plus coffee fruit extract. And for our endocrine health, no, um, specifically sa mga kalalakihan, no, our men's uh, health, um, if, they want, if you want to support your prostate health, we have palmetto plus that contains saw palmetto extract, lycopene, plus soy isoflavones. And for both men and women who want to support their sleep and weight cycle, we have Purest SF for you. And this one contains melatonin. No? So speaking of sleep, you really need and deserve quality time of sleep every night. And in order for us to do that, we need to supply our body, no, yung existing melatonin. We need to add up on that if we are having this difficulty. And those products that I've mentioned starting from Cell Essentials down to the optimizers that support the cardiovascular health down to the endocrine health, those products are intended for adults only. So it means that we can give those products to 18 years old and below people, no? such as yung mga teenagers natin. But we have products for the kids and for the teenagers. So this is our use animals. And this one contains multivitamins. Minerals, lecithin, inositol, plus hydrolyzed rice protein. So that's how Yuzana takes care of the whole family because we have products for the adults, for the kids, and even for the teenagers. But it's not over yet. We have products for your diet and energy. That If you want to support your weight management or somehow if you want to lose some weight or add some weight, you can take Nutri-Meal. And it has three great flavors of wild strawberry, French vanilla plus meron din itong Dutch chocolate. So you can choose any of the flavors and it's really good. No? Very delicious and healthy as well. And we have this Yusan whitening toothpaste. The toothpaste for the whole family. So this is very unique because it, uh, it is fluoride free. At the same time, contains EDT1, a postbiotic inactive bacteria. So this one um, helps in elimination of our unwanted bacteria inside our mouth so that it will remain healthy no and um, maiwasan natin yung mga tooth decay um bad breath or even mga gum problems and this can be used by three years old and above but with adult supervision and for the largest organ of the body our skin no hindi pa uli ating mga skincare products and we have here Yusana Celaviv with different sets, no? Yung mga different products natin dito, ang dami. But first, we need to identify what what kind of skin type we have. Because if you really want to achieve that desired result, then our skin type should match to the kind of product that we are gonna use. And so we have here also the newest set of products, the Brightening Series products and the Exfoliating Scrub Blast Mask. So if you want to try any of the products that we have here in USANA, you can um, order it through what we call the auto order. So you can get the 10% additional savings. At the same time, it's hassle-free. So 
Um, what makes USANA different from the rest of the brands in the market? First, it has formulated ingredients, balanced and science-based formulas. And uh, these products really went through a lot of researches and clinical trials conducted by our accredited team of scientific experts. So it means that we don't just get it from other companies. We, co we don't just... We don't copy anything uh, we can see in the market, but we formulate our own ingredients to really give you high-quality nutritionals that focus on the health of your cells. So that's all about our products here in Yuzana. So if you have any question, you can uh, reach to me through my email, linadia.cordon at yuzanainc.com. So for more readings, you can go to askascientist.com. So that would be all. Back to you, Miss Joyce. Thank you so much, Nina. And I, I'm seeing in our chat box, no, they're asking for your slides. Okay, don't worry. Uh, we will be sending this recording, uh, the, the, the recording of the training after uh, this training. So for those of you who have registered, we have your email addresses. We will be sending it right to your email. So thank you so much, Nina. That was very informative. And to test if you really listened and if you understood what Nina has uh, been sharing earlier, let us call back our uh, uh, pharmacist from Cebu, Jace, to have our pop quiz. Take it away, Jace. Hi, Ma'am Joyce. Good afternoon again to our participants, all 744 of us here in the call now to uh, to test if you were able to catch what Ma'am Nina was discussing about the products here in USANA. Let me share my screen to you for our short pop quiz. So the instructions or the mechanics are very simple. Um, there will be questions flashed on the screen and of course I would want for you to answer actively by typing in your answers in our chat box so we will see if you were able to catch what mom Nina was talking about earlier in the training so our first question here is uh, what is the USANA product that supports this particular organ and these activities so the organ that you have there is actually the brain so you have there yes the answer is of course our copa prime plus the recently launched copa prime plus which contains our american ginseng our bacopa monieri and coffee fruit extracts which is a brain supplement and of course our next question we have uh, unscramble the following letters to form a USANA product. So there are actually two products that are listed here in our uh, in in your screen. You have two products. Uh, it's actually one product, but there are two components to these products. So you have there. You kindly write your answer. So yes, it is actually our Vita antioxidants and our core cell essentials our flagship product here in USANA and of course our third question in our pop quiz we have what is the USANA product that supports this organ and of course the organ that we are referring to is our liver and yes the answers come pouring in our chat box very fast it's actually our hepacil DTX, which is correct. A lot of our associates are actually listening in and very actively participating in our training today. And next, what is the USANA product that supports this activity? My personal favorite activity, which is sleep. And the answer for that is our pure rest that is actually correct our associates are very fast in typing which makes me very proud to say that they were actively listening to mom Nia, Nina's training earlier and of course the next question we have what is the USANA product that contains this ingredients we have our grape seed and our vitamin C and that is correct answers are pouring in by the hundreds when it comes to answering in the chat box we have our pro flavanol c that is actually correct so the the chats are coming in so fast now i'm barely finishing the question and the associates are already answering the question so the next one what product contains 
all four of the following mineral salt ascorbates of zinc, magnesium, calcium, and potassium. And that was just the first three words from the question and more than 10 answers already came out for Poly C. That's very correct. Thank you very much for actively participating. And of course, what is the USANA product that is associated with this ingredients? We have the anchovy fish, we have our oil, and of course, we have our soft gel capsule, and that is actually our Biomega. So the answers just keep pouring in. And mind you, all of the answers so far that I have seen are correct. So that how active our participants are in the training this afternoon so next we have what is the USANA product that is contained what product contains these ingredients so we have our reishi and shiitake mushroom powders and that is correct it's actually our proglucamune so this contains our reishi and shiitake mushroom powders and these help uh, with a blend of our baker's yeast that will help prime our immune system for an immune response. So that is our proglucamune. And of course, we have this one, unscramble the letters to form a USANA product. So we have, yes, that is correct, USANA probiotic. That is actually very correct. That is our USANA probiotic. And of course, what is the USANA product that has this logo and that there you go. We have already five answers before the question was even finished. And that is actually our USANIMAL. So that's how fast actually our associates are in answering our pop quiz this afternoon. So thank you very much for actively participating in our pop quiz and for listening to Mam Nina's training earlier. So thank you very much. Back to you, Mam Joyce. Thank you so much, Jace. And actually, it's not just uh, the training earlier no, that have that made our associates uh, master our products. Actually, uh, USANA Philippines is very targeted in uh, training or in sending communication to our associates. So even if you are new, in the business we make sure that you get all the training links so every day we have our uh, health and freedom uh, training hosted by our corporate pharmacist and see marielle nina and jace and of course we have every thursday we have our smart health uh fo product focus trainings and of course um super saturdays so thank you so much for all that you do and um i hope that you have learned uh, a lot in our training earlier and speaking of learning okay so let me um uh let me just segue to my part now so um, I will be discussing to you uh, time management. Of course, um, as emerging leaders, as Ms. Cherry uh, mentioned earlier, no, um, you must also uh, be uh, equipped with uh, skills that will also uh, bring you to uh, the, the rank or the level that you want. And um, a while ago, we were discussing, and a few, few uh, weeks back, uh, we have um, heard uh, some distributors comment no, that uh, prior to the pandemic, so it's been so hard for you to uh, talk to people. It's so hard for you to lock in schedules. Do you agree? Please type agree in our chat box if you think so too. Diba? So prior to that, a lot of people are saying, oh, I don't have time. <laughs> um, uh, I have work. Uh, I have, uh, I'm still in commute or I, I'm still uh, on my way to the enterprise. And so a lot of people have missed opportunities, right? And um, actually, when we um, came into the pandemic, we saw, right, that uh, when we are just locked, on, locked in in our homes, um, thank you for your responses, by the way. Uh, I see them in our chat box. Um, when, when we are uh, locked in our homes, right, we eliminated that part, uh, that, that, that part of our uh, routine no, that, uh, ha, 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 that has distracted us. So it might be our commute, it might be um, our uh, social gatherings or other, other things that are really not that important. And um, as we are ending the year 2020, we, we notice no, that um, things have become uh, lax. So uh, the economy is easing up, 
if you notice, you can now go out with just proper uh, social distancing and uh, health protocols. But a lot of people now are, um, are, are actually going back to their uh, jobs. Okay, so if you agree as well, please type agree in our chat box. And so, um, what, what, what should we do? Okay, so given that um, we know already what, uh, what works in our business, um, we as uh, USANA Associates or you as USANA Associates should focus really on time management uh, uh, instead of time managing you. And so uh, this afternoon, okay, if you will just direct your uh, attention to the screen, if you will see, you know, of course, all of us have goals. Okay, it's either to hit that next rank, it's either to get that solid income, either to get your dream house, or just simply um, enough to provide for your family. But if you will also see, there are equally uh, bigger uh, distractions as well. No? And I'm sure, sabi ko nga kanina, as I was saying earlier, diba, we all know what we, um, what we should be doing, right? So we deep down inside us, we know what we need to do and uh, we know what will make us um, get more people. We know what will make us, what will lead us to more customers or we know what to improve in ourselves. But sadly, we are not really doing it or we are really not actively uh, paying attention to those things. Okay, and um, as Miss Cherry also earlier said, of course, if we should be uh, clear on what we should uh one or what we should be uh, doing so um for me really having goals uh gives us direction to your activities okay so uh, actually sabi ko kanina, clarity is the best policy of course definitely if you would want to do something you have to know how to do it it has to be clear to you you have to visualize okay what is really what you want and with with um with your goals you really have to have focus Okay? And uh, having focus should uh, and having goals should be hand in hand. It doesn't uh, necessarily meaning uh, having goals can get you to success. Diba? Without focus, it will not really um, get you to the results that you wanted. And um, just to share, okay, if you have read this book, let me see who, have, who among you here have uh, heard or have you read this uh, High Leverage Activities by Tony Giri. Okay, so please uh, type Tony in our chat box if you have heard uh, this uh, or if you have seen this book. So I'm sure it's not yet that familiar, diba? Parang, uh, It's just a few of you have read this. Uh, but just to share, diba? Uh, we have this thing we call the high leverage activities. Okay, so these are the activities that maximizes results for your work and personal life. And according to Tony Giri, an HLA or a high leverage activity is an item you should be doing 70% of the time in order for you to accomplish the vision of your priorities. So, if you will uh, take time to reflect, diba? what are the things that uh, you feel that uh, takes up so much of your time in a day? Uh, and aside from thinking of those things, can you think of things that uh, really uh, takes up um, uh, your productive time. Diba? So, it's not just enough that we are busy. It's not just enough that we are uh, tired of doing uh, things sa the same things all over again. But we should be looking at things that will make us perform better, that will make us uh, reach our peak, and that will, uh, of course, motivate us to do the things that we really want to do. And so, these are the high leverage activities. And later on, I have some examples no, to uh, to show you what does it mean to have a high leverage activity. So probably for you, um, a high leverage activity is uh, talking to your downlines, okay? Uh, coaching them, or uh, probably it's uh, listening to your mentors, diba? So to, to give you uh, insights and to give you provisions. And that is something that you don't do uh, the whole day, right? It's just portions of your time dedicated to those activities and it will give you greater results okay and according also to the book distractions often pull us to your lla so what does it mean what is a uh, lla so these are low leverage activities so perhaps it's an email 
diba that you are um that you are focusing on that you are trying to um that you are trying to answer it's not that important and it's not that, that urgent or probably your time is wasted by listening to all the trainings the whole day without even applying them right and um uh, there, there there are a lot of low leverage activities that you are uh, you might be doing that you are not yet aware so at this point Diba? It's not just me who's, uh, who's uh, talking. I want uh, audience participation. So, in a sheet of paper or in your notes, in your mobile, can you list down all your activities in 24 hours? Okay, from the moment you wake up, your morning routine, uh, even taking breakfast. What or allocate the time that you are actually spending uh, on these things right now. So I'm going to give you uh, around 30 to 45 seconds for you to uh, do uh, to do the activity. Okay, so just so that we know or so that we are aware diba, that uh, what what are we uh, spending more time in our day? Okay, so there uh, I, I see in the chat box may nag share no? Thank you, Gabrielle. So for him, it's prospecting, inviting, training, eating and goal set wow you're you're very usana centric no <laughs> okay but um you don't need to share here in our chat box but just um just make sure that you write down diba? so that uh, we know what exactly can we uh improve or or um and alloc reallocate your time okay so can you please type sa ating chat box done if you are done with your activity all right Thank you, uh, Cora. First honor. <laughs> okay. And Jenica, thank you. Ayan. So we, we have um, people who have uh, finished their activity. So if, if your, um, if your uh, list looks like this, okay? Ayan. So this one, I have gathered this through uh, the associates that I've been talking to uh, in the past years, no. So basically, there's a pattern, no. Yung mga, especially those in the level of uh, uh, builder, sharer, those who are really starting up in their Yusana business. Because remember, you are not. Uh, some of you are not yet uh, full time in Yusana. Do you agree? So probably the eight hours in your day, in your 24 hours, is dedicated to your regular job. So that's 33 percent of your time. And of course, Shebre, if you um if you are going to uh, uh um to live, the well, if you <laughs> you have to sleep, right? So that's probably six to seven hours. And actually, it, it has to be seven to eight. But in this example, I just uh, dedicated around six to seven hours of sleep. So that's already twenty five percent of your one hundred percent. So how about um? Of course, you have a morning routine. You will wake up. Uh, you are going to mop, uh, you, you're going to stare outside your window, diba? or thank the Lord, you have to meditate. So that comprises your morning routine. Syempre, you have to uh, take a bath, take care of yourself, and stuff like that. So that's probably at least one hour in the morning and one hour uh, before you retire at night. And uh, now that we are on the new normal, diba? we are all at home, I'm sure you have chores. Your mom or your dad or your lola and lolo uh, um, sees you around the house and just uh, asks you to do some stuff right? or errands for the house. Right? So that's probably um, uh, four hours in your day. So that's 13%. And syempre, you have to rest. Right? There are times that are we are idle. You have to, of course, uh, watch Netflix or um, probably entertain yourself uh, while eating. So something like that. So uh, that's around 4% of your time. And the actual time that you are really doing Yusana is uh, at least 21%. Okay, so that's at least uh, two hours training and four hours uh, socialization, prospecting, and uh, going to social media sites eh, what? for you to get more people. So what we're trying to say is that it's not, uh, it's not the whole 24 hours that is dedicated for you in, in the business. Diba? What we're trying to say is that you have to uh, allocate a certain portion of your time in the business and um, as you uh, progress or as you advance to higher levels, you will notice that more time spent in Yusana, more time that is um, talking about the business, then the, the more solid and the more um, stable your organization becomes. Do you agree? Right? 
So, may nagsabi pa nga dito, plantita, no? <laughs> yeah. Um, this, these things, of course, can help you um, uh, um, give us focus, di ba? It, it's not that it's a distraction, but just make sure it's in the right proportions, okay? And uh, earlier I said I will give you examples no, of uh, high leverage activity. So here are some of the things that, um, that will get you more results, like coaching and nourishing your team members. You don't need to do this the whole day. No, it's, it's not necessarily for you to do this uh, for an hour as well. It's as little as five minutes pep talk, right? Or um, a simple message to your downlines. Uh, probably also planning your day. Okay, and and this is one of uh, high, the high leverage activity that I that I uh, practice as well. So I make sure that my calendar is up to date um, because it it removes all the unnecessarily uh, unnecessary activities, diba? For you in the day, so you have to plan your day. If you have a digital calendar, whatever works for you. Okay, some people would want to write them down. It's okay depending on your style and also sharpening your skills and learning so if you are listening to our one hour talk every night um here at usana then probably it can help you um, motivate yourself diba? and it helps you uh, better understanding about the business and probably that's all that you need diba? to to propel your usana business and of course there are a lot of things that can be part of your hla and here are some things that you need to avoid Okay, so sabi ko nga kanina, as I said earlier, these are things that um, like wasted meeting time, di ba? Uh, we all know in our LinkedIn learnings, um, I've I read a lot of books as well that uh, really a meeting should not last more than one hour, okay? And probably you have more time to um, to do the things that you need to do aside from uh, in a, to go to a meeting. So if it's not that urgent, you can do it in your email, you can probably message everyone, diba? but um, really we, we should also be uh, prepared when we are in a meeting so that we have a structure and we know that we have a time limit. Diba? So that in our day, we still have more time to do other things. Okay, And also, um, we should avoid doing activities that your downline should be doing. So what, what are those in USANA? Probably uh, monitoring their points, diba? If you, as an upline, know how to teach them the value of the hub, or if you, as an upline, know them um, how to set their auto orders up, you don't need to do them yourself, diba? You save time by, um, you, you also have focus in your business by teaching people, diba? The right things to do in their USANA business. Of course, we have technology, no? To help us. And also, there are a lot. The list goes on. So, probably, um, you have been uh, unaware that you are doing all of this. And so, at this point, we would want you to really be focused diba, on what things that uh, matter in your, uh, in your uh, USANA business. So, is it probably more activity or more productivity? So, the choice is yours. And I hope that we have um, imparted... Uh, uh, a learning or um, a new idea this afternoon of your high leverage activity. So, maraming salamat. I hope um, you have learned a lot this afternoon. Okay? So, that's it for me. Now, first, speaking of goals, diba? So, I'm sure uh, you are all um, um, applauding in your own uh, houses. Thank you, guys. Okay? So, um, speaking of goals, okay, we have a uh, uh, this afternoon, our sales manager from Cebu, who will talk about how to get those rewards and recognition with Yusana. So please welcome Ivy Karal. Take it away, sis. Thank you. Thank you, Joyce. Hello, everyone. Hello, sharers. Hello, believers. Hello, builders and achievers. Good afternoon. Magandang hapon. Maayong udto sa inyong tanan. How are you? Ayan. So, Napakasaya ng ating training this afternoon. No, you learned a lot from uh, Miss Tintin earlier about uh, the proper ways to run your business in Yosana. You also heard from Miss Ninia on our products, and also just now Miss Joyce Ramaliosa just uh, shared to you on a uh, very important, a uh, very important um, mga points no on how to manage your business. The time management is really very important. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Ayan. So, this afternoon, my task is to share to you um, about the rewards and recognition of USANA Philippines for 2021. However, before I start that, let me just do a very quick energy level check. Right now, 
what is your energy level ba? Can you please type in the chat box between 1 to 10? 10 being the highest, what is your energy level right now? Kasi kanina pa kayo nakikinig eh. Nakiki- I can see in the chat box that you are still very engaged. But just, uh, ayan. So we have level 10. Wow! A lot of level 10s. Level 8, 7, 9. Oh, 101. <laughs> great. That's great for you. Okay, 100. Yan si Miss Joyce. I don't think her energy level goes below 100. Okay, thanks everyone for your participation. It's good to hear that your energy level is still very high. You know why? Because right now we're going to talk about the part where your um, efforts, your hard works are recognized and rewarded in your sign of feelings. Okay? So, um, it's very important to know this part because, um, you know, aside from reco- your your efforts being recognized and are rewarded, this is something that can actually drive uh, the message to your family members and to your friends, you know, those who are not very convinced yet of your Yusana business, this can drive the message harder to them that your Yusana business is legitimate, right? And also, this will inspire the people in your organization. This will motivate them also, right? When you are at advance, when you travel, when you get rewards, when you get recognized, you also motivate the people, the rest of the people in your organization. So listen up and let me just um, start sharing my uh, slides with you. All right. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, here are the 2021 rewards and incentive program of USANA Philippines lined up for you. Okay, to start off, we have the Asia Pacific Convention Awards. So for this one, we have the following. First, we have Dr. Wen's Vision Award Philippines. So this is for an associate that demonstrates extraordinary effort in areas that are consistent to promoting our founders' vision. You know that's very important, right? We always emphasize that because everything that USANA is right now, it started with the vision of, the, of Dr. Wentz. And so whoever... Uh, does a lot of things to promote that one, to live by that one, by that vision, we always recognize. So for this one, to get the, re- the, the award, the person has to have the following. Number one, uh, he or she must personally believe be, be living the Yusana lifestyle. Okay, Hindi pwede. We cannot just uh, talk about it. We cannot just uh, talk, but we have to walk the talk. All right. Number two, the person has to show personal drive in acquiring knowledge in health or nutrition. And number three, there has to be strong evidence of consistent effort in promoting good nutrition and healthy habits. Take note, kailangan consistent effort. There has to be consistent effort. And last but not the least, for this category, for this award, the person has to show leadership in charitable contribution towards a healthier healthier world so that's for the dr wen's vision award feelings how nice if you will ever get that award in your lifetime right the next award is the asia pacific growth top 2 to 25 so as you notice that is top 2 to 25 Wala pong, there's no mistake there that's really top 2 to 25 because the top one is recognized uh with a different um award okay so for this one this is given to associates who increase their business in absolute commission points or what you call this as uh, CVP during the qualification deadlines. Growth computation for this one is net of the auto order max and the salary bonus. Okay, so aside from the auto order max and the salary bonus, your commissions, your CVP will be counted and whoever has a top 2 to 25 uh, growth, then you will get the Asia Pacific growth award okay now what happens to the one who gets the most growth within the contest period so that person is lucky because he or she will will receive the president's award how nice very prestigious award so for this one the number one associate who has grown the most in absolute commission points or cvp okay just a moment my alarm just went off Okay, uh, during that qualification period. So that person will, of course, receive the President's Award. There. So these were the uh, previous winners. So um, in previous um, uh, Asia-Pacific conventions, uh, we go to a particular country to celebrate. However, right now, because of the limitations of the 
present um, pandemic, uh, we do the convention online. But the, as soon as there's a possibility, as soon as it's possible already to um, meet personally, then uh, you will also be able to go up that stage and receive your award. All right. So aside from those awards, we also have the following. We have the top 25 Asia Pacific income earners. So this award is given for the top income earners in the Asia Pacific region during the qualification period. Okay. It's based on earnings, based on income. Okay. Next off, we have, yeah, and there's the example, no? Those were the previous winners. I hope we will see one of your faces there one day soon. And also we have the Asia Pacific Rising Stars. So this award is given to the associates who become one of the top nine new associate income earners in commission points during their first year. Uh, during the first year, they will be awarded with this one. So this is really for top nine. It means to say... Um, uh, top two until top ten, okay? Because the top one is given uh, the award, the distinction of being the rookie of the year, okay? This can be a once in a life. Uh, this is actually just once in a lifetime award. And uh, I really hope uh, that we will see uh, one of these uh, in one of these Asia Pacific conventions. Um, one of you here in the uh, over 700 participants in this call, we will have someone go up the stage and receive the Rookie of the Year Award. All right. So we also have the top active associate enroller. This one, man, is given for every new associate enrolled during the time period. And the sponsor will receive one point for every month that the new associate makes a purchase. Okay. All right. So this award is given to the sponsor. Uh, who will get certain points, okay? Who will get one point for every time that the new sponsor uh, makes a purchase, okay, within the contest period, okay? Of course, those purchases have corresponding point value, ba? Meron, you get uh, points for every product, for the products that you, you buy, you purchase. So those points will be uh, uh, every purchase. So it's not uh, the points that will be counted, but it's the frequency of the 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 purchase okay it's the frequency of the that the associate will purchase okay every purchase will give the sponsor one point all right so that's for the top active associate enroller okay those were the previous winners and we also have the top active um pc enroller which is um for this one a month for every new pc enrolled during the time period the sponsor will receive one point every month the new associate makes a purchase, okay? It's similar to the associate, but of course, a different category. For for the other one, it's the points for every time the associates will um, purchase. So for this one, this is for every time that the, the PCs, the new PCs will purchase, okay? And we also have the top pay setter creator. For this one, the top 25 associates that personally sponsor individuals and help them become a setter or platinum pay set will be given the award as you see no if you, you will notice uh, we always give emphasis on the mentoring the coaching of the the direct sponsors towards their downline so for this one whoever uh, uh sponsors the most number of pay setters based on points which i will discuss in a little while will get the award so um it will be based on the following point system, okay? 10 points will be given for each personally sponsored uh, Premier Platinum Pay Center. It will be counted towards the, the direct sponsors running for this um, contest. And then five, five points for annual Platinum Pay Center, two points for annual pre Premier, or one point for annual Pay Center, okay? So we have actually right now for the next Asia Pacific Convention, we have about five um, uh, associates from the Philippines who are uh, trending to qualify for this one. Very exciting. We hope to have to see more of you in this category in the coming um, awarding. There, those were the previous winners of this contest. We also we also have the share the vision reception, of course. Though um, the top ten income and growth associates get invited to a photo opportunity with Dr. Wentz. 
oh how very exciting at the share the vision reception a separate photo is taken with the contribution awards in cocktails and served of course this is during the actual you know the face-to-face -face, um uh, convention for the for the online asia pacific convention separate treatment of course there should there were there will always be a special recognition and special treatment for this group of people but it will be different for the online convention of course right so uh, okay so i i have just discussed to you the asia pacific uh recognition program and uh, we also have some recognition recognition programs that is uh, local to us for the philippines only so this contest uh is also of course just for the uh the associates in the philippine market right so we have a uh, recognition that is done annually so uh, we do this during the grand celebration we do this every february during the anniversary of yusana philippines so during the annual convention at uh, the annual um grand celebration we recognize the following the top 25 income earners top 25 growth uh philippine rising star of course there's only one um for that a very um prestigious award to get and we also uh, recognize the uh, Philippine Rookie of the Year, and also not just one winner for that. And we also um, recognize the uh, Philippine Vision Award um, um, winner. All right. So aside from the annual um, recognition, we also have uh, recognitions uh, every four months, or what we call the trimestral recognition. So here. We recognize the following top active associate enrollers, where there are three winners, and top PC enrollers also, three winners, and then uh, top pace setter, pace setter creator, three winners. And we also recognize the new members of the Million Dollar Club, you know, the very prestigious um, club. And we also recognize the new advancements, of course, from directors and up. You know, we always give... Uh, a recognition for that one and also we recognize the new executive uh the, the the associates who gained new executive titles during the period all right so that is trimestral and we also have recognition every three months or we call the quarterly recognition so for this one we have the top 10 um with what we call the top in rank recognition so for the top in rank we have we recognize the top uh, for we have national level for the entire for the entire philippines and we also have the regional level or uh we do we do recognize for uh, the associates within visayas and a separate recognition for the associates within mindanao so for the national level we have the top 10 in gold category the top five in ruby category and we recognize only one the top one in emerald category for this one we uh, actually um the contest is um open for all those who gain at least a five percent growth and uh, six direct sponsors okay whoever has the highest number of them will win the award uh, 10 for gold, 5 for, for ruby, and 1 for emerald directed. So for Visayas and Mindanao, we recognize top uh, 5 gold and 2 rubies and 1 emerald per region. Okay, so that's um, for the uh, quarterly um, recognition for Yosana Philippines. Okay, so um, aside from recognizing you during the, during the programs, we also recognize your... Um, your your growth, your income, your 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 successes in Yosana by giving you travel incentives, right? So for this one, there are specific requirements. Uh, let me discuss with you uh, one of the most we would say one of the most important uh, contests in um, Yosana Philippines, the Leadership Summit, because it is actually one of the first major contests usually that an associate um, aims for, and when you hit this one it actually uh, it usually paves a very strong foundation for your uh, usana business all right so for the leadership summit uh, this is for the gold directors who have not attended any of the previous gold retreat or asian cruise okay so sabihin, when we say gold directors uh, it also includes the executive goals all right so and take note this uh this is for the those who have not attended any of the previous leadership summits before 
Um, but this is not the, the highest rank who can join this contest is executive gold. Executive gold, but this is not exclusive to gold directors. Those who are non gold directors can also join this one. Gold directors are lower than gold directors. Um, can also join this one, but you just have to aim for at least an average of 600 CVP per week for 13 weeks. And mind you, there are a lot of uh, there were a lot of silver and bronze directors who were able to join the leadership summit already. Okay, so here are the requirements for you to uh, jo uh, to qualify for the leadership summit. Number one, you must have an average of 600 CVP per week or a minimum. Uh, uh, per week or a minimum total of 7,800 CVP in any given consecutive 13-week period. So please take note of the keywords, 13 consecutive uh, week period. So uh, within the entire contest period, you just have to deliver at least a minimum of 7,800 CVP for sunud sunod, okay, consecutive 13 weeks and it's what we call a rolling 13 weeks because during your first try if you were not able to hit the 7800 cvp requirement uh during the first 13 weeks that you plotted then you can just move it back move it back until you reach the 7800 cvp within 13 weeks as long as it is within the contest period all right so please take note though that there is a cap okay per week that we count your uh, uh your cvp or your commission so no more than 800 cvp during each week can be used for qualification so there's a cap so for example in a certain um within the 13 weeks of your run uh you hit uh, 1000 for one commission period so for that week what will be counted is just 800 CVP, all right? So there's no minimum. It can be any amount, but we recommend that you stick to the 600 CVP uh, for this one so that you will not have a hard time getting the 7,800 within 13 weeks because there is a cap of 800, okay, for the, for the week that can be counted, all right? And also, please take note that of the 7,800 CVP, 20% of that should be generated from non-initial orders like your auto orders, your PC upgrades, or your personal sales volume. Now, the reason behind that is USANA really would like to encourage you to grow your business. And growing your business means that uh, for those you will enroll, they will, they will continue doing their business. They will continue um, uh, purchasing. Not just uh, We are not all about enrollment only. We care more about the, the growth of your business, okay? So there has to be a continuity of the business. And so therefore, part of the requirement for the Leadership Summit is 20% coming from the non-initial orders, all right? So please take note of that. So where is the next Leadership Summit? It's going to be in Maldives, okay? Uh, for the current Leadership Summit, we are down to our last two weeks already, okay? So for the... Uh, that one will end in uh, two weeks and that group, whoever qualifies for that one, will go to Tokyo, Japan. And so on November 28th, we will start another um, leadership summit contest, another qualification period, and we will bring the group to Maldives. So for this one, the qualification period is November, 20, November 28, 2020 to May 28, 2021. Right? So we hope to see a lot of you in this one. So that is, that's it for our Leadership Summit. Right? So next contest that I'm going to discuss, which is actually uh, probably the most, okay, uh, most uh, memorable and important contest that you will run because it's about growth. Okay? And in your Yosana business, uh, I hope you know by now, that growth is really, really the key to... Um, to the business, to the success in the business, all right? So stagnation is really one of the most uh, dangerous uh, things that can happen to you in the business. So that is why USANA is always uh, looking for ways to reward, you know, to recognize and reward and uh, motivate you to grow your business. And so we have this Asia Pacific Growth uh, Travel Incentive. So for the current one, for this period, we have the ongoing uh, Asia Pacific Growth 2021 Sri Lanka contest. Okay?
Okay, so let me just walk you through the uh, mechanics of this one. So the objective of this um, Asia Pacific Growth Travel Incentive is to encourage associates from the Asia Pacific region to grow their business. Okay, like I said, growth is really key. No, it doesn't have to be one time, big time. It should not be one time, big time. The growth has to be continuous. Okay, it can be small as long as it is continuous. And uh, the other objective is to provide a unique experience to recognize successful associates and celebrate their success in the presence of other USANA team members. So we have heard a lot of um, uh, feedback on this one that it was actually one of the greatest uh, trips of their lives because they got to spend a lot of time uh, with the top growth and top income earners of the Asia Pacific. All right, can you imagine that? Having breakfast with them, learning from them, talking to them about their their their, their techniques, their their insights, their wisdom, their skills. Okay, so that's what you will have with this um, travel incentive. So for this one, um, uh, there are uh, the qualification period is um, actually based on two periods. So we have what we call the base period, which is um, for the ongoing one, we have uh, the base period from December 29, 2018 up to December 27, 2019 income versus the 2019, the, the current period, uh, which is from December 28, 2019 to December 25, 2020. So, um, okay, just uh, the same. Please remember that uh, for the counting of the uh, income or the CVP, this is... Uh, for this one, this includes uh, auto order max bonus. Okay, so take note of that. All right, so with this contest, you grow and win by level. There are actually four levels with this one. So for level one, this is given to those who grows their business by 15,000 CVP within the cutoff period. So. Uh, those who will be level level one will enjoy standard accommodations for two. Okay, so this does not include airfare, by the way. So this uh, this uh, includes standard accommodations for two, and of course, of course, you will enjoy the training. Okay, the outings, the the the, the trips within the area given to you by Yusana. and if you earn more than fifteen percent, but less, uh, uh, if you earn a. Uh, uh, 20,000, I mean, if you earn 20,000 CVP growth, okay, you will qualify for level two. Now, for level two, what you will enjoy, of course, is more than level one. So, you will get the level one um, standard accommodation um, uh, uh, incentive plus a, a, a 500 US dollar travel subsidy, okay? How very exciting. You will have money to spend for your um, shopping in the area, okay? So, uh, but if you grow 25,000 CVP but less than 30,000, you will uh, enjoy level 3 incentive. So, for this one, you will enjoy the, um, you will enjoy 1,000 US dollar subsidy plus, of course, a standard accommodation, of course. No more spending money for you in this one. At level 4, this is the highest level for this one. Um, okay, you will enjoy, oops, sorry minute okay you will enjoy upgraded room accommodations plus 1000 us dollar travel subsidy so very exciting for you okay please take note that aside from earning the uh the, the levels the 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 level one two three and four by earning the corresponding um cvp requirements there is also another way for you to hit level four by uh, even without earning the uh, thirty thousand or up commission volume uh, uh, growth, okay. So if you become executive ruby and executive emerald director during the contest period, and you earn at least a uh, fifteen thousand growth within the the the, the, the contest uh, the the uh, qualification um, period, then you will actually not just join at level one, but you will actually enjoy the level four um, uh, reward, right? And not only that, you will also have an extra night, okay, to spend at Sri Lanka for this one, okay? So, um, 
Ayan, the, just, 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 um, please. Okay. So, that's it for the Asia-Pacific Growth Travel Incentive. So, just take note that you must opt in for this one, okay? Uh, where do you opt in? At the hub. All right. Okay, these are the travel dates for the ongoing uh, Asia-Pacific Growth Trip to Sri Lanka. Um, for uh, Growth 25, uh, it's going to be March 25 to 31, 2021. For uh, Ru Executive Ruby and Emerald, they're going to go there on March 25 to 30, 2021. For the Asia, the rest of the qualifiers, it's going to be March 25 to 29, 2021. Right. Okay, that's it for the Sri Lanka, uh, the Asia Pacific Growth Travel Incentive. Now, I said, uh, uh, Yusana always tries to find a way to recognize the growth in your business. So, if ever, you, like for, for the most of you who are here in this call, you have just started growing, really, really, really growing your business, right? So, by this time, actually, you can, uh, you can already start, um, uh, ayan, uh, winning the, con the contest for growth. So, we have... Uh, what we call the go for growth 2021 so for this one this is for those who will have registered growth um less than fifteen thousand, but not less than eight thousand cvp okay within the same contest period so with this one you also win and grow by levels okay we have levels one two and three so for level one this is for those who earn uh eight thousand to nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine cvp growth they will enjoy two night deluxe accommodations for two at Shangri-La de Bora. Okay, so for those naman who will earn ten thousand to eleven thousand nine hundred ninety nine CVP growth, then you will enjoy two two night deluxe accommodations for two with sea view. Okay, a nicer room for you. Okay, and for those who will register two thousand to fourteen thousand nine hundred ninety nine CVP growth, then you will enjoy, of course, uh. Uh, three night hotel accommodation for two with the sea view um with with sea view accommodation All right so uh that's it for me um i hope you you are more enjoy you are more excited to grow your business in usana and uh for more information on this one you can visit the hub or you can reach out to your sales managers from for luzon visayas and Mindanao. so that's it for me sis joyce thank you so much Thank you so much, Ivy. So who among you here uh, are going to Maldives? Please say me sa ating chat box. Okay, so I hope that you got all the details that you need. Who among you here is going to hit that travel to Boracay? Okay, and of course to test your uh, knowledge in our travel incentive so we have our sales manager mitch arcanceline to give you some quiz Take yes it. good afternoon everyone no i hope you listened carefully um uh, with the iv this afternoon because uh i will be i will going i'm going to review if you really um took some notes on the important details of our incentive trip of course that's a very, uh, very, uh, very wonderful experience, no? the travel incentive of USANA. And that is why you really have to master all the mechanics. At the very early stage of your uh, USANA business, you really need to prepare for, uh, for next year or for, for the travel incentive. Because uh, our, our travel incentive doesn't really uh, change the mechanics every year. So it's uh, basically the same. So we just change the date and the destination and everything. And you really have to master the mechanics of this um, incentive trip. So we will start. No? It's, it's, it's uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon and I know a lot of you are uh, very sleepy. No, very sleepy. Are you sleepy right now? Um, can you please type in the chat box your energy level? Okay, from 1 to 100, what is your energy level? So that I will know. Okay, 101. Yeah, and so very active. No, we, 1001. Okay, 99.9. .9, okay, so uh, uh, I know you're very active in the chat group. And I know you you took some no notes for our travel incentive mechanics. So question number one. So whoever, no, whoever, we will not be calling names, but you just have to type in the answer. Remember that you have to type in the letter and the correct answer in the chat box, okay? 
So uh, para para alive naman tayo lahat. All right? So uh, question number one. Yan. Here we go. What is the cutoff date for the leadership summit in Tokyo, Japan? Can you please type the letter and the correct date? No, the letter of the answer and the correct date. Okay, the correct date. Ayan. Ayan. Okay, so uh, we have associates who are uh, really, li really listening, no? Because uh, we, we all know that we are, uh, we have two weeks to go. We are on our last two weeks for the Leadership Summit in Tokyo, Japan. And the correct answer to that question is letter B, November 28, 2020. Congratulations for those of you who answered letter B and November 28 of 2020. Yan. So I hope nagising kayo dun sa unang question. Next question, what is the minimum CVP requirement to qualify for the Leadership Summit? Okay, letter A, we have 7,600 CVP. Letter B, 3,800 CVP. Letter C, we have 7,800 CVP. Or letter D, 600 CVP. Yeah, and so we have a lot of uh, associates here who sent um, uh, their answer. The correct answer is letter C, 7,600. Please do not be confused. The C, those, um, those uh, I mean, the answer to this Sorry, the answer to this is 7,800. Okay, let me just uh, let me just uh, take this down. Okay, so the answer is should be letter C, 7,600. Yeah. Letter C, 7,800. Okay. Please do not be confused. I'm so sorry for the for the uh, wrong uh, answer, ayan. So that's seven thousand eight hundred CVP. Yeah, that's correct. So uh, please do not be confused. The six hundred CVP, the six hundred CVP that you're telling me is the average, not the average minimum average um, CVP every week for thirteen weeks. No, yan yung average na CVP for thirteen weeks for you to get the seven thousand eight hundred in. 13 weeks. So the final answer is 7,800. Okay, next question. We have what is the minimum CVP growth requirement to win the level one prize for the Asia Pacific incentive trip in Sri Lanka? Ayan. What is the minimum uh, CVP requirement? Wait lang, nawawala ang aking chat. Okay. The letter, what is the answer to this? No? I'm waiting for the answer. Yan. Uh, what is the minimum CVP growth requirement to win the level prize, level one prize for the Asia Pacific Incentive Trip? So we have uh, um, answers. No letter A. That's fifteen thousand CVP growth. Letter B. Twelve thousand to fourteen thousand nine hundred ninety nine CVP growth. Letter C. Eight thousand to nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine CVP growth. Or letter D, we have 20,000 CVP growth. Ayan, I've, uh, I've seen a lot of answer. The letter A, no, the correct answer is letter A, 15,000 CVP growth. For those who answered 8,000 to 9,999, that is for the, the um, go for growth in Boracay. Diba? Yan yung level, that is the level one for the go for growth in Boracay, that's 8,000 to 999. But if you're running for the Sri Lanka trip, which is the Asia Pacific Growth Incentive Trip, you have to have a minimum of 15,000 CVP growth. Yeah, and so I hope, please do not be confused sa ating mga mechanics no? ng ating uh, incentive trip uh, growth requirement. Okay, eto, this one, very exciting. Now we will be ending the leadership summit in Japan in two weeks, and where is the next leadership summit incentive trip destination? Ayan, this is uh, the destination is really uh, all over our social media accounts. No letter A is it in Bali, Indonesia? Letter B, Switzerland. Letter C, Maldives. Letter D, in Japan again. And I know all of you are aware that we are going to Maldives next year. No, for the next. Leadership Summit Destination. Yan. Thank you very much for your answer. Ay, may, may sumagot ng Bali, Indonesia. Ayan. Baka sa ibang 
contest yun. Okay? So, uh, that's uh, Maldives for 2021. Okay. This one, I know, hopefully all of you already opted in, but where will you find the opt-in option for the Sri Lanka and Boracay incentive trip? You know that Asia Pacific Growth Incentive Trip and the Go for Go trip requires you to opt in. Okay, so where are you going to opt in for the Sri Lanka and the Boracay Incentive Trip? Letter A, the Hub Incentive Trip, uh, Incentive Trip Sri Lanka, or the Hub Incentive Trip Boracay, or the you go to the Hub Contests and Events Go for Growth Incentive Trip, or the Hub. Contests and events, then you click on the Asia Pacific Incentive Trip. Ayan, I've seen a lot of um, answers na letter D. Ayan, so letter D, contests and events, go for the Incentive Trip, Asia Pacific Incentive Trip. The answer to that is the hub, contests and events, and Asia Pacific Incentive Trip. Remember that when you, uh, the, the Asia Pacific Growth Incentive Trip in Sri Lanka and the Go for Growth has only one opt-in um, site okay so you have to you have to really opt-in at the asia pacific growth incentive trip to uh, incentive trip for you to also be registered sa ating um go for growth trip in boracay ayan so that's the um thank you very much no that would be uh, for our pop quiz for the incentive trip thank you very much for your participation and back to you joyce Alright, so I see in our chat box so binuo na yung sagot. It's not just the letter but they, they also type the option so we know that you are really paying attention and you know the answer. No? So congratulations for those of you who got it right. And at this point, we have our uh, invited speaker this afternoon. So we, we have chosen this person because uh, he have been um, an executive gold director in USANA this year and his team has also uh, produced a lot of gold directors and executive gold directors like him. Uh, aside from that, he is also uh, one of uh, million peso achievers in the past. He has also qualified for this incentive trips that you have been hearing. Uh, like you, he have also, he has also been uh, uh, he has also gone through the ranks of achiever, believer, director, and um, to to share more on how his journey and how he has built his network throughout the years, even at uh, his early age. Uh, you will find out later how old is he. He's um, uh, industrial engineer. He graduated industrial engineering in De La Salle University, but he never worked a day in his life he was never employed okay and he he straight uh, he jumped right straight uh, to usana so please welcome our executive goal director kurt Derek chan hello, hello. and good afternoon everyone thank you for the uh, warmest introduction mom joyce and medyo um we're having the korean look today <laughs> i really prepared for this so anyway, it's really a privilege and it's an honor to be invited by the corporate to actually share uh, my insights or and my knowledge about the business. So uh, without further ado today, I was assigned or tasked to discuss about building the business right or building 101. So I remember the time when I was still a sharer, believer, builder, and achiever in all that i was director all right so i think i attended three to four seminars like this doorway to director i really attended everything because i know for a fact that i have to learn something before i can advance to the next level okay so um let me just share my screen all right okay so if you are excited to learn kindly type one so like the corporate is saying let me check the excitement level of everyone okay all right thank you for typing one so today i will discuss building 101 so i will not discuss more uh, i will not discuss the technicality of building the business but more on the mindset that 
we need to adapt or we need to have for us to build a consistent and stable business. Because USANA is not just about ranking up, but also um, having this consistent income. So just like what Mom Ivy discussed earlier, um, if you can actually see or, you know, check the requirements for the travel incentives, it's actually based on consistency. So everybody needs to hit their goals every single week for them to attend those travel incentives. And may I tell you guys, those travel incentives were really awesome. I've attended some of them and you know what, the corporate, the corporate really makes sure that they give you the VIP treatment that you deserve for working hard every single day, every single week of the year. Okay, so again, my name is Kurt Derek Chan and I'm one of your executive goal directors. So, all right, I started the business at the age of 20. I was a third year college student in De La Salle University, but here's the catch. I don't have any background in business, sales, marketing. I don't know how to invite. I don't know how to sell. I don't know public speaking, but I learned everything in my USANA journey. So when I started the business, I was really young and clueless. Um, with whatever I started. I just knew before that I wanted to be successful. The desire, the hunger to be the successful was really there. So I really jumped into this business while I was still young. A lot of people my age wouldn't really do that because they would focus more on graduating college, getting a degree, applying for work, applying for work, climbing the corporate ladder and you know getting their retirement plan or pension. But I was different. I wanted to be successful as young as possible. I want to create. I want to generate or create a passive income that would set me out for life. Okay, so at the age of twenty, as you can see in the picture, I wasn't really someone professional. I was a student. I was wearing glasses. I was wearing a shirt. I was wearing a jacket, and you know what? I don't know how to present, but I still did it. Okay, and here's me. At the age of 24 so i can really say that this was my breakthrough year in usana this was the year that i created an impact for myself for my team and for the whole usana philippines because um in our usana business it's not just building your left and right okay it's not just about inviting people it's not just about attending training but if you really want to build your business first you have to build yourself Okay, so it's about improving your character, it's about improving your um, personality, it's about growing, it's about developing yourself. So at the age of 24, I got invited to talk in front of thousands of people in Mall of Asia Arena. And you know what? I said yes, because it's part of me growing and going outside of my shell. So that's me when I was in age 24. And here's, I'm right now, I'm age 26. So... I'm gonna turn 27 in two months, but right now I'm 26 and I ranked advance into an executive goal director back back in June. Okay, so all of you might think that, wow, our speaker is so great. He's actually executive goal director. But you know what, guys? I also started as a sharer, as a believer, as a builder, and as an achiever. Okay, so don't be wowed or don't be amazed okay because everybody started um as a newbie everybody had their day one day two day three week one year one so all you have to do is to be consistent and keep on building the business okay so enough about me let's go to the training part so here i'm gonna give you three tips three major tips on how to build a solid organization so during during this pandemic, um, for the past eight months, I've created two executive goal directors and four, four goal directors under my organization. And I'm really proud of it because um, we had this principle that we wanted to reach out more to people since it's the uh, we're having the pandemic and we're actually experiencing the COVID-19. We wanted to reach out to um, a lot of people and for, for us to create two executive goal directors and four goal directors in eight months it means that we've created a big impact that changed a lot of people's lives because there are a lot of sharers believers builders and achievers under those high ranks okay but 
right now, I will also teach you what I taught them eight months ago. That's why after eight months, they hit their rank advancement, their major rank advancements in USANA. Okay? So, guys, are you still there and are you still excited? All right? Please comment below. So, if you like something that I said or if you agree to what I'm saying, please type it down below. So, our teammates or our friends inside this um, Zoom meeting can actually read it, can read it, and can also learn from it. Because maybe they, I don't know, they missed something that they have to learn, okay? So let's work together. Let's work as one team, one USANA family. All right, the first is build with in initiative. Okay, so I know that your uplines or your, your mentors or your coaches we're already bombarding you with this thought. Build with initiative. So what is initiative? Initiative is something that you do independently. Okay, so when I was building my business six years ago or five years ago, I would wait. I would wait for my mentor to actually tell, tell me what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm waiting for everyone to do it. I don't want to fail, right? So I wasn't really independent. I was dependent on my upline. But when I realized after, uh, after one to two years of doing the business, I did not start that fast, guys. I did not pick up the business that fast. But when I did, I went skyrocket. So this, this is actually the mindset. Be independent of your own business. We all started, actually, I heard this from the corporate a while ago and um, I'm actually thrilled about it because um, it's actually part of my training as well. Be independent because when we started the USANA opportunity, we weren't a dependent distributor. We were a we were an independent distributor. So you have to do this business whether someone tells you what to do or someone will not tell you what to do. Okay, number two, take charge before others do. Okay, don't wait. Okay, don't wait. Take charge of your team initiate okay initiate remember in this business if you want to build your organization really strong you have to be a catalyst okay so what is a catalyst catalyst is something that triggers something so you have to trigger the growth and the momentum of your business because building our business building the momentum of our business actually starts with us so we have to be catalysts okay number three step up and take action okay you have to give your 150 percent if i ask my associates if um if they're willing to step up they wouldn't tell me yes mentor i'm 100 percent ready no everybody will tell me no mentor i'm 150 percent ready okay there's no room for that little percentage that you're not ready to step up. We have to be 150% ready always because this business can actually reward us with everything that we desire, with everything that we've dreamt of, with everything that we've prayed, and with everything that would make us have a comfortable life. So we have to step up and take action, right? You don't, you don't wait because, you know, um, there's a proverb or there's a saying that the Lord will only give you the, the ingredients to make a cake, but it's up to us to create the cake, to bake it, to create the batter, and everything else. All that, that, all that stuff. Sorry, I don't know how to make a cake. So, yeah, with that idea, I, I'm sure you guys get it. So, we have to, like, we have to get the ingredients, put them together, and put, put the cake inside the oven for it to cook. Okay? So, that's that's actually um, my tip number one my tip number two is build with intention so how do we build with intention you have to want it bad enough okay not everyone wants it bad enough how bad do you want to be successful in your usana business okay guys from one to ten can you type how bad you want to be successful in this business if you're learning from my training okay 11 11 Okay, 100, 20, 15. Okay, you guys are learning. Great job. Okay, so you want to have it bad enough. So when I was still young, I would see all those mentors, all those coaches having their um, luxurious cars, having buying those 
luxurious houses and those luxurious bags, the life that I I once dreamt of. And I asked myself, why am I not getting the results that I wanted in the first place? Why am I not having the results that I wanted? That there, that's why I joined the business. Okay, it's because I didn't want it bad enough. I didn't want it bad enough. I didn't have the mindset number two. What's mindset number two? Accept that USANA is a long-term career. Okay, some people would just enter USANA just because um, they got pressured to. Some people would join their USANA business because they would want a part-time income. Some people would want a part-time hustle. Some people have a lot of time. That's why they joined the USANA business. But uh, that's actually the wrong mindset. Even if you're a part-timer, you should have the full-time attitude, the full-time mindset. Okay, so you have to accept that USANA is a long-term career. Okay, that you have that you're intended to be here, that you have all the intention to be successful, that this is your long-term plan, and this is actually what you're planning to do in the next decade, in the next few years, in the next few months. Okay, so the reason why I did not um, continue, or the reason why after graduation, I did not work or tried the employment industry, uh, the employment world, because I'd have no intention of you know uh, being paid 15 38 or something like that i have all the intention to be successful and to build my yusan empire so what i really did is back in third year fourth year college when i started the business i already accepted for myself that yusana will be my long-term career and i don't have any backup plan okay backup plan sorry okay so number three stop trying and stop doing I start doing sorry stop trying and start doing okay let's cancel out that trying mindset can we okay so a lot of people would tell me okay mentor i will try i will try to build my organization i will try to hit my rank advancement if i tell someone okay let's hit your directorship a lot of people will tell me okay mentor i will try i think it's really hard so i guess i'll try i'll do my best I'll do my best. You know what? That's not good enough. We should really adapt the whatever it takes mentality. Okay? So you have to stop trying and start doing. You know what? I have this really good friend of mine and he's actually one of my mentors in the business. And he keeps on telling me to rank advance and I keep on telling him, okay, I'll try. Okay, I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. You know what? He told me, you know what? Stop. And I got frightened. What? Stop? I said I was going to try. And then he told me, you know what? You just have to stop. Stop being like that. You have to start doing. Because, you know what? Nobody got successful from trying. You know what? The word try means you're afraid. You're afraid of failing. Okay, but you know what, guys? This business loves failure. You have to fail forward. You have to fail fast, fail forward. For you to learn fast, okay, and grow fast. So don't be scared of trying. If your upline or your mentor told you to just rank advance, just do it. If you failed, it's okay. At least you learned, okay? At least you learned, you grew, and next week, we can try again. Okay, but this time you learned from the previous week. So you're going to start doing, okay, and start hitting. Okay, so let's start doing. Okay, start doing, guys, start doing. And lastly, okay, lastly, my last slide, okay. So build with ownership. So a lot of people would ask me, how did you, how did you get so successful in your USANA business? So I just told them uh, I, I have ownership. So they were really puzzled. What's ownership? Okay, what's ownership? Ownership is being responsible for your own team. Right? Everybody under your organization is dependent on you. So you have to take charge. You have to own them. Own up for everything that's happening to your organization. 
okay? You don't have to be a gold director. You don't have to be a ruby director. You don't have to be a diamond director to own a team. If you're still sharer, you have one downline, you have two downlines, have ownership, be responsible. You have to make sure that your associates are attending the corporate trainings. You have to make sure that your associates are try are doing their best. No, we're not trying, right? We're not trying. Are doing their best to hit the corporate or USANA's travel incentives. You have to be responsible enough. Stop blaming other people and start blaming yourself because whether you become successful or not in this business, it's your fault. So the moment that I accepted that everything that happens to my business is my fault and I have to start blaming myself for it, that's the moment that I, that I became responsible for my own team. So I took ownership. I told my, I told my mentor, Mentor, I will grow this team. I will create the momentum that we need to grow our team because I am responsible. I am a leader with a great vision. Okay? So you know what? When I was still starting, I was afraid. I don't have, I don't have any confidence in me. But you know what? I have one thing. I have a great vision. Okay, leaders without vision cannot lead a group because he is actually blind you need vision okay you need eyesight you need sight you need foresight okay you need it to lead a group you need vision you have to visualize yourself that you will be successful in this business you know what guys if not then you can only lead your team to a certain level that's where the law of the lid comes in Okay, so according to John Maxwell, the law of the lid, this is one of my favorite principles. You are the capacity or you are the limit of your own team. So, guys, this training is all about rank advancing and leveling up to the directorship level. Imagine if I am a sharer, or if, sorry, if I am a believer and I am not willing to rank advance into a director and build my business keep sponsoring keep inviting keep training my team keep developing you know what people under me will not rank advance into directorship because i myself i did not want it bad enough to rank advance into the directorship level so if you want to build with ownership or if you want to have ownership with your team you have to start creating massive results okay you know what my 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 associates or my my team wouldn't really do their best right now if they see me slacking off or they see me not hitting my goals or um hitting my rank advancements or travel incentives but because i do they want to do it as well okay so imagine my mentor would always tell me i do you do i do I, I do, you watch. I do, you, you do. You do, I watch. So let's apply that principle to your associates or to your team. Leaders lead by example. Okay, so this is the time, guys, that you have to stop thinking that you're still new in the business because you're not. Okay? You're already a sharer, a believer, a builder, and an achiever. You're not new anymore. You're actually the next in line of the USANA Philippines. You are actually the associates meant to be awarded in Mall of Asia Arena next time after this pandemic um, stops, you know? You're gonna be awarded the gro uh, top growth 25, top income earner, gold director, executive ruby director, diamond director. But first, you have to apply the three principles or the three tips that I thought that I taught you today. Because if you do, you're gonna level up your business. And imagine in the next six months to one year, I'm sure and I'm certain you're gonna get your goal directorship and you're gonna get your executive goal directorship. All right. So that's it for me today, and I hope you learned a lot. Okay, let's apply that perfect mindset on building your organization. Because no matter um, how we know 
or no matter how our uplights will teach us the step by step on building the business, where to put your where to put your associates, how many sponsors you would actually sponsor, it doesn't matter if you don't have the right mindset. So guys, let's have the right mindset and we have six weeks left before the um the, before the year ends and let's go big. All right? Thank you, Mom Joyce and the corporate for always um giving me your full trust. All right, thank you. Thank you so much, Kurt. So I just can't help but green, no, here uh, wherever I'm listening right now, cause um, really Kurt has inspired a lot of you, even myself. And uh, really, um, thank you for gracing us this afternoon. I know you have things to do, but definitely this will be appreciated. So please let's type on our uh, on the chat box our gratitude to Kurt. So just like Kurt, no, you will give your 150 percent up until uh, 2020 and for the next for the next year yeah thank you kurt and uh we have come to the end of our program but definitely we would not let this day pass without hearing this person she has been uh, instrumental in the growth of usana philippines and is she's the one guiding us all here in the sales and marketing team please welcome our uh, sales and marketing director miss lisbeth jose hello everyone thank you joyce I want to thank Kurt no, for such an amazing talk. Grabe. Ang galing talaga. And thank you to the 600 people who stayed. Now, can you please type director on the chat box if you are now ready to become directors after uh, attending the seminar today. Ayan. So, as our GM mentioned earlier, we are going to end the year with a growth of over 50%. And we really want all of you to be able to grow with us. However, we cannot decide for you. Remember that this is your business. You have to have ownership. You heard Kurt talk about ownership. You have to make that important decision if you really want to grow. Next year, should everything get better, thousands of our associates will be traveling to Taiwan, Sri Lanka, Maldives, and Tokyo. Because what? Because they decided to really grow their USANA business. That is what growth means in this business. Growth means financial rewards and trips with your loved ones. Exciting, the ba? Growth means slowly inching your way towards success. But growth also means hard work, being intentional, having daily goals, and daily high leverage activities leading you closer to your goals. Growth means doing and not trying, sabi nga ni Kurt kanina. Growth means actively building your organization. Build, build, build. But growth also means earning consistent income and most importantly growth means everyone in your team achieving small wins so ladies and gentlemen make that decision today kindly type growth on the chat box if you have decided to really start growing your yosana business ayan ayan exciting no and daming Talagang desiring to grow their business. Remember that growth starts with you. You need to grow as a person and as a leader for real growth to happen in your organization. And please remember this. We are with you in this journey all the way. As our future leaders, our business partners, we are all excited to work closely with you. So to all of you, thank you. And let us all go for growth. Thank you, Joyce. Thank you, Mom Beth. Okay, so please give her a round of applause or virtual uh, applauses. And that's it this afternoon. This has been your uh, sales manager, Joyce Hermaliosa, for our doorway to director. And we hope next year we see you to the next level. Okay, gateway to gold. And uh, reminding all of you that we have six more weeks to go before the year ends. Let's finish early and let's finish strong. Thank you so much, Yusana Philippines. Have a great day. Bye.